Uh, I think um, some influences have been, I think, I wanted to talk about my dad, because he's a guitarist. He'd, um, he'd kind of sing to me my brother's guitar um, in hand when we were growing up. And with my mum, they'd be like a bit of a duo. And I guess he taught, he kind of, he, he'd sing of the songs that I first came to love, like my favourite songs. Well, he was the only thing I was listening to, but the time before I kind of grew my own taste. But yes, yeah, so I, I imagine that, that had a huge influence on the things that I'd come to like and come to find in music. It was a huge investment, which was like quite rewarding in some ways, because, you know, there is like that cathartic element of pulling up things from the past accepting them and putting them into something beautiful it's like felt very um healing but yeah it was really like taxing i just remember like editing that video and just like having moments just like just crying just like you know like editing all day and you know focusing in on how i want to transition to look but then just being like this is a real story it's not some like theory theoretical ideas that i'm working with here it's like they're my memories that's me that's my dad and it's a song about the morning of like a, you know, a broken and changed relationship. I think that kind of comes into like my mum's influence on my life and the way she would um, make you know make her life about like um, looking after and being a voice for the needy and the I, like the yeah like the downtrodden like the people in this world who um, need help and who need justice and so yeah I'm really proud of my mum and the way she makes it a priority in her life we put together our EP uh, and we were yeah we were really uh, it was like it was amazing we did like a co like a couple of big tours like down the coast we would do these all these uh, pubs and and like small music venues in like little towns and stuff all the way down and we did another trip all the way up to um uh where was it Maruchidor. um yeah in the car with Alistair and Chris like my two best mates and yeah it was exhausting and like you know like we're getting paid a little bit for these shows but you know it was really just because we were so keen that you know that was the motivation and it was an amazing journey and people helped us out along the way like we got to sleep in people's backyards or on couches and things like that and looking back on it now even though like it was just such a huge job um it was so rewarding and just yeah it was a beautiful time in my life i think yeah i've always seen in people I mean, especially in myself as well, that in times of like difficulty and when you're thrown things that you didn't think you could do on your own, uh, when tough times come, I think that's when you kind of, you're forced to grow. And I think human beings are really resilient and incredible like that. They can really do anything. Well, yeah, they can do so much more than maybe they believe they're capable of. And I think I've experienced that myself. So many things I've taken as pillars in my life have changed and shifted and there have been a uh, footing that I thought was solid that has, has slipped. Um, but I as a person, yeah, I think, yeah, I think I've, you know, struggled and suffered a little, like through those things like everyone does. But um, it's helped me, um, I think it's refined me and it's uh, helped me, like it's made me a person I'm proud of and yeah. And it's, yeah, growing me a lot.